Hello, um, so in this video I want to talk about how we can get from Maya to Arrow. And I'll start simple and I'll get more complicated. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to reset my workspace to general. Cool. And we'll make a cube. And um, we'll add some animation to this. So maybe just a spin. 30 frames, spin 360 degrees. Did set the timeline to the length of our animation, which I'll do down here. Um, we'll give this um, a shader. So let's see. You'll make Fong. So Fong's and um, Lambert seem to work okay. Crazy color. And specular. Okay, cube thing. So to export it, um, we go, I'm gonna make a duplicate, edit, duplicate special, duplicate the input graph. So I'll still have the original after I bake it. We'll call this live, call this baked, baked. And then we will hide that one. And then over here, I'm going to animation, key, bake simulation. I'll save the scene as um, Maya to arrow demo dot one, two, three, four dot MB. All right, and then I'll grab this file uh, export selection, and then I, I like to name, or I think it's a good idea to just name your export after your file, and so we are looking for FBX, and that's that. Cool. Then we're going to go over to Arrow, make a new project. I will import that scene I just made. It's promising. I'll go down here to the triggers, add a trigger, start. We will play animation and we will play this clip. Get a little closer to this. Okay, so let's do something a little bit more complicated. All right, so let's just get rid of those. Let's make a few different shapes. So a sphere, a cube, make some different stuff. And these can represent, you know, different models um, that you're working with. Uh, I also want to play with some different materials, so I'm just going to hide those for a second, and my shiny material, and then I'll add a bunch of Lamberts that are different colors, call this green, shiny, and then we'll create Lambert. Yellow. This 
Cyan Lamb for Lambert. Just making some different colors, not really worrying about it. It's just for the demo. Okay. And I want to start assigning these to things. So green, cyan, so maybe that was the blue. Well, anyway, blue, <laughs> cyan, yellow, and let's just do one more. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my sphere, go over to um, the mash shelf over here. Actually, maybe even better, maybe I'll go to the mash workspace. So workspace mash, there we go. Okay, cool. I'm gonna grab my sphere and go over here and that will create a mash network. All right, so let's see. I'm going to, um, I want to reposition these spheres. So I'm going to add a transform. And in my transform node, I'm going to create a null. And what that's going to do is move up this group. Then in my mash editor, which is over here. You can also find it by clicking on this button. I'm going to click on this little node tree here and I'm going to add dynamics. So what this is going to do is turn these spheres into rigid bodies. This down here represents the floor. So let's, let's sort that out. I would love for the floor to be if I go to this node over here, rigid body, I'd love for the floor, the ground to just line up with the ground. So that'll line up with the ground in our uh, arrow experience. All right, and then let's see what happens. So we need a little more time. So I'm gonna make the timeline, I don't know, 240, what that does. And there it hits the ball, the floor. Okay, that's not very interesting, but we can add a little more bounce, add a little more friction, and see what that does. And we'll also add, so that's bounce to the floor, we're gonna also add some bounce to our, um, to this mash dynamics tab. Yay, okay. Maybe that's a little too aggro, so we'll just let it cycle again. Okay. So what I want to have here, um, well, okay, next thing we could do. Instead of, we made all these objects, so instead of having just uh, these spheres, we can, we can vary that up. And to do that, so basically, you can keep stacking these uh, effects to add more and more complexity. So we're going to add an ID node. And what this will do is vary the, um, the ID of the objects coming into the mash tree. Okay, so, the, so what we need to do, if I change this here, nothing's going to happen because there's only the sphere plugged into this. But... If I go to a mesh repo, here we go. Okay, in this repo, um, I can grab some more objects and see when I clicked off it disconnected. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, copy this tab over here so it doesn't automatically deselect when I grab some new things. So I'm gonna grab the other objects, and I will middle mouse drag them over here. Now, when I go to this ID node, which is over here, now 
I have um, more, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five. Five, perfect. You can also do random or whatever. We're just going to do linear. Okay, and so then it's always a good idea to just see how that's going. Great. Okay, cool. And what's really cool about it is it's picking up the shapes of these objects and, and everything. Okay, so if I want this to look like an emitter, what I need to do is I'm going to put all these objects in my uh, distribute node over here. I'm going to put them all right on top of each other, and then I'm going to key the number of objects. And this will effectively act like an emission. Okay. And I'll increment and save. All right. Cool. If I want this to be a little more interesting, I can I can do that. So another node I'm going to add to this is um, random, which is random. Here we go. And what this will let me do is vary the starting position, and I can also add some variation to the rotation too. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to get it over to arrow. So to bake out objects, um, we need to get the transforms of each individual thing. Right now, this is actually just one mesh, right? Which like works fine for what we're doing here, but that's not, uh, that's not what we want. We want a bunch of objects with transforms. So to do that, I have to convert it from a mesh into an instancer. So to do that, I go mesh, utilities, switch mesh geometry type. Okay, and if I play this again, it should look the same. Um, but now they're instances. Okay, and then the last step here in Maya, or one of the last steps here in Maya, is I'm going to go to Utilities, Bake Instancer to Objects. And I'll say Bake. You know, I'm going to turn this on too. Okie dokie. All right, so now with this node selected, Increment and save again, and I will say File, Export Selection, and this is now O2. Rename this O2 to X FBX. Cool. I'll go over to Arrow. I'm going to delete that. We'll say File, Import, my new F. BX is over here. And then play animation. We're going to play that. It has a take on it. That's a good sign. Preview. Here's our objects. And we can add some friction to the floor and yada yada. But you get the idea. Okay. 